Hello students, good afternoon. So in this lecture, what I will explain, I will explain about phase, phase kya hota hai, phase difference, then ha, phasor kya hota hai, how to represent a phasor in various form like rectangular form, polar form, antagonometric form. So how to convert a phasor from rectangular form to polar form, polar form to rectangular form. So without wasting the time, we will start the video. So my name is S.R. Krusty and you are watching my beautiful channel Loving Science. So let's start. So first to we'll talk about phase. As per the book definition, it is mentioned, it is the fractional part of the time period or cycle through which the quantity has advanced from the selected zero position from reference. This book definition, is just yaad rakho. But I'll give one local definition of phase. Phase मतलब याद रखो angle ये angle का dictionary meaning is phase that's all angle is nothing but phase which is theta that is omega t right let us have a cycle AC cycle let it is voltage okay let it is voltage so e axis is v and this one is omega t so this zero this one is pi this one is pi by two and this is three pi by two and last one is two pi so there are how many instant I have taken five instant so i can say this pi by 2 is the angle it is a phase pi is the angle it is a phase 3 pi by 2 it is a phase 2 pi it is a phase but you might have think sir why the definition is written in this way so it is written it is the fractional part of the time period or cycle through which the quantity has advanced from the selected zero position see agar total time period t hai so, yahan tak time period kitna hai? t by 4 because ye t by 2. So, t by 4 time period interval mein, what is the phase? Phase is nothing but pi by 2. If it is t by 2 time period, then what is the phase? Pi from the selected 0 position. Right? So, if it is uh, 3 pi by 2 like this, so you can say it will be 3 t upon 4. Pi, it will be t. Okay, so phase ka matlab kya hota hai? It is nothing but it is an angle. Just yaad rukha angle. Phase difference is angle difference. That I will discuss now. As for the book definition, it is mentioned when two alternating quantity of same frequency of different zero points, then they said to have a phase difference. But in local language, I can say as I have told phase is nothing but angle. So phase difference is angle difference. But when you will apply this term, when you compare between two quantities, then we will be getting some phase difference. Like, like let I am saying V voltage is equal to Vm sin omega t. So, what is the phase of voltage omega t? Let I is nothing but Im sin omega t minus of some angle, which is called phi. If I, if I say what is the phase of current omega t minus phi what is the phase of voltage omega t what is the phase difference here phase difference is nothing but phi so we can we can have the diagram also let this one is a voltage vm sin omega t so im will be this one this is im sin omega t minus of phi See, as for the definition, both have should same frequency. The frequency should be same. See, here it is omega, angular frequency 2 pi f. Here also it is angular frequency 2 pi f. But the difference is, here phase is omega t or angle is omega t. In case of current, angle is omega t minus of phi. So, we can say what is the phase difference over here? The phase difference is phi. This portion is called phase difference. So you just remember here if I compare between two quantities voltage and current voltage ka equation Vm sin omega t current ka equation Im sin omega t dono ka phase ka difference kya hai phase difference which is called phi but now the point is who is leading who is lagging so here I can say see pehle voltage then after current so I can say voltage is leading current is lagging yes or no that means voltage lead over current of angle phi or I can say current lag phi to the voltage v but which one is correct which one is correct actually let me i am giving an example let india's code uh, 300 run and pakistan's code 298 
we can say Pakistan lack to run or India lead to run. Both are correct. If we we'll say both the things, log kya bolenge? Bolenge pagal. So, to understand the leading and lagging concept, you need to take the reference as current. Okay, see, if we we'll compare between this voltage and current, so you can clearly say whether it is leading or lagging circuit. Current lags phi with respect to voltage. That means it is a lagging circuit. See, pehle voltage. After some angle, then you can see current start. Dono ka frequency same hai. Dono ka frequency same hai. Dono ka amplitude may be alag ho sakta hai, but dono ka frequency same hai. Understood? It is clear. And, and uh, you, can, you can conclude current lags phi with respect to voltage. Okay. Now we will talk about phasor. Ye phasor kya hota hai? Phasor is nothing but it is called rotating vector. Kya hai? Rotating vector. So before going to the phasor part, how you represent phasor like uh, different form hota hai, like trigonometric form, rectangular form, polar form. So let me explain uh, about vector first. So pehle vector bar mein dekho, then tum analogous karo what is phasor. See, agar koi vector hai, maan lo ke this is a vector, a vector. So how do you represent this a vector in two dimension or how do you resolve this vector in x, y plane? So it will be it will be a x vector and in y axis it will be a y vector. So instead of writing a vector, you can say a vector will be equal to a x vector plus a y vector. Yes or no? And in place of a x vector, you can write the modulus of a x vector that is a x into i cap. Similarly, in place of a y vector, you can write down modulus of a y into j cap. So here you can write down ax into i cap plus ay into j cap, right? Or else, if this angle is theta, so you can say the mod of ax vector, which is ax, is nothing but a cos theta. So ax vector will be a cos theta into i cap. Similarly, what is ay? A sin theta. And what is ay vector? A sin theta into j cap. Is it clear? Are ye a cos theta kaise ho raha hai? ye very simple hai. Ye agar a hai, ye theta hai. Okay, ye to base ho gaya. Ye, ye p, ye b hai. Thik hai? Maan lo ki h hai. Thik hai? So b by h kya hai aapka? Cos theta. So b kya hai? H cos theta. Yes or no? Similarly, if it is a, so it will be what? In place of b, I can write down a cos theta. Yes or no? Similarly, P upon H will be how much? Sin theta. So, P will be H sin theta. So, in place of H or A, I can write down here A sin theta. So, if it is A sin theta, this part will be A sin theta, parallel shifting of vector. Yes or no? These are very easy thing you should know. Okay, anyhow. So, that means you can represent this vector in AX vector plus AY vector or AX into I cap plus AY into J cap. Or a cos theta i cap plus a y, um, sorry, a sin theta j cap, right? So, same concept, exact same concept you just compare to phasor. See, phasor ko lo kaise represent karenge? E i cap ko omit kar denge. E i cap ko omit kar denge. See, phasor ko kaise represent karenge? Phasor can be represented by three format. One is called rectangular form. Okay. And second is called polar form. Third is called trigonometric form. Trigonometric form. Right. So, a rectangular form kya hota hai dekho? Rectangular form matlab let V is a phasor. I can represent as A plus JB. A is the horizontal component, magnitude of horizontal component. B is the magnitude of vertical component. Let this one is your V vector, V phasor. So, E component aapka A ho gaya, B A component kya ho gaya, B ho gaya. So, you can represent as V phasor or V vector is nothing but A plus JB. So, iska corresponding polar form kya ho gaya dekho? Polar form is nothing but you can represent this phasor in polar form in terms of like 
the magnitude of the phase or the vector of angle theta so what is the magnitude here a square plus b square under root yes or no and what is theta theta is nothing but tan inverse of b by a so you can finally represent it will be a square plus b square under root of angle tan inverse b by a is it clear and trigonometric form kya hai dekho trigonometric form same thing so v will be v cos theta plus j v sin theta okay clear so dekho ek example kar lete hain pura samajh mein aa jayega okay example kar let i have taken example v vector is 3 plus j 4 so which form may given in it is given in rectangular form so i need to convert this phasor from rectangular form to polar form and trigonometric form but actually tumhara syllabus mein rectangular form hai polar form trigonometric nahi hai theek hai so polar form mein kaise hoga dekho v uh, uh, v vector will be nothing but mod of v of angle theta maine bola tha what is mod of v here 3 square plus 4 square under root which will be coming 5 and what is tan theta tan theta will be 4 upon 3 yes or no then theta will be how much tan inverse of 4 upon 3 so tan inverse of 4 upon 3 kitna 53 i think i think it is 53 degree dekho isko bhi kaise yaad rakhoge it's very simple ek right angle triangle draw kar do theek hai ye angle agar 37 hoga ye hoga 3 ye 4 ye 5 ठीक है सिमिलरली ये अगर होगा 53 ये दो ही एंगल है ना 53 तो ये होगा हायर साइड 4 ये 3 ये होगा 5 सो टैन इनवर्स 4 अपॉन 3 कितना है 53 डिग्री ठीक है डन सो फाइनली यू कैन राइट v वेक्टर विल बी इक्वल टू 5 ऑफ एंगल 53 सो यू कैन आल्सो कन्वर्ट दैट पार्ट इन ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फॉर्म कैसे देखो हमें आंसर क्या मिला v वेक्टर इज इक्वल टू फाइव ऑफ एंगल 53 डिग्री सो वी कैन राइट इट इज इन ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फॉर्म v cos थीटा प्लस j v साइन थीटा ये सो नो सो v कितना है फाइव cos ऑफ 53 थ्री प्लस जे इंटू फाइव साइन ऑफ फिफ्टी थ्री सो फाइव कॉस ऑफ फिफ्टी थ्री इज हाउ मच आई थिंक थ्री बाई थ्री बाई फाइव Plus j into five into sine fifty three is four by five. Five five cancel. Five five cancel. So it will be three plus j four. Dekho three plus j four. So what you conclude from here? Like any phasor, we can represent in three form. Three form. First is rectangular form. Second is polar form. Third is trigonometric form. Okay. So uh, now you might have think, sir. Uh, what is the importance of j over here? I will later explain what is the meaning of j actually. I have given one example. Let there are four quadrant. You know, let this one is our reference axis, positive x-axis. Okay. Let this one is v vector or v phase. Okay. So if it is v vector, it will be minus v vector. Is it clear? Minus v vector. so i can write here in place of minus j square into v vector j matlab complex parameter tumhe shayad class 11 mein hoga j square will be minus 1 j will be under root of minus 1 yes or no yes or no so if i multiply j square here i will be getting minus of v vector so what you conclude from here if i rotate that vector 180 degree i can get minus of v vector yes or no that is the significance of j that means we can rotate a vector anti clockwise 180 degree to get minus v similarly if i rotate this vector 90 degree here so i will be getting what j into v vector because it is j square half is only j similarly if i rotate the vector 270 degree so it will be what j q into v vector j q matlab j square into j into v vector again if you rotate 360 degree 
आई एम गेटिंग वर्ड जे टू दी पार फोर इंटू वी जे टू दी पार फोर मतलब जे स्क्वायर इंटू जे स्क्वायर इंटू वी जे स्क्वायर इज माइनस वन इट इज माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस वन कितना है प्लस सो आंसर विल बी अगेन बी वेक्टर सो दैट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ वर्ड जे पैरामीटर और जे ऑपरेटर इक्वेंसी सो अनदर पार्ट आई विल टेल यू सी अगर If we have, if we represent a vector in first quadrant, let v vector is equal to a plus b, so the vector will be like this. So here we have v will be equal to a plus j b. So if it is, let v is minus of a plus j b. So ये y axis है, ये x axis है. So minus है मतलब this side. Yes or no? So v vector will be minus a plus j b side. मतलब ये कंपोनेंट माइनस है राइट सो ये कंपोनेंट बी सिमिलरली ये कंपोनेंट बी ये कंपोनेंट ए यस और नो एंड थर्ड इज व्हाट इफ इट इज माइनस ए माइनस ऑफ जे बी सो इट विल बी इन दिस क्वाड्रेंट राइट सो वी फेजर इज माइनस ए माइनस ऑफ जे बी राइट एंड फोर्थ इज इफ इट इज ए माइनस ऑफ जे बी सो इट विल बी इन दिस क्वाड्रेंट राइट so v phasor will be a minus j so that means we have we have taken a phasor in this quadrant if you rotate some angle then we may get another phase right anti clockwise similarly if we rotate this angle anti clockwise will be getting this phase similarly if we rotate this much of angle will be getting this phase i hope it is clear ओके okay, मैं एक क्वेश्चन दे रहा हूं देखो सॉल्व करो एक बार एग्जांपल लाइक ए फेजर इज गिवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पोलर फॉर्म लेट इट बी टेन ऑफ एंगल थर्टी सेवन सो यू कन्वर्ट दिस फेजर इन रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म कैसे करोगे बोलो टेल मी टेल मी टेल मी क्विक अरे रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म क्या है ए प्लस जे बी Yes or no? So you can write this one: ten of cos thirty-seven plus j of ten sine of thirty-seven. Yes or no? Are yes or no? Then ten cos thirty-seven is how much? Look at this triangle. Ye thirty-seven angle hai. So ye three, ye four, ye five pe. So cos thirty-seven is nothing but four upon five. So it will be four upon five plus j into ten sine thirty seven. How much is it? Look, sine thirty seven is nothing but here three by five. So it will be three by five. So five ten uh, cancel over two. Two into four is eight plus j. You cancel over two. Two into three six eight plus j six. So first, so that means we can convert this phasor from polar form to rectangular form, which will be j plus. Sorry, eight plus J six. Is it clear? Okay. Uh, I think it is over. So what I have explained today about uh, phase, phase difference, then leading lagging concept, then how to represent a phasor in various form like uh, polar form, rectangular form, trigonometric form. So how to convert from uh, polar form to rectangular, rectangular to polar, polar to trigonometric, like this. Okay. Uh, so I hope you like my video. You have uh, understood what I have explained today. Uh, so thank you, thank you very much.